Hey Siri, how not to miss any future Tech Labs video? Just go ahead and click on the bell button to be notified. Enjoy! What is up guys, Tickle Serum and today in this video I wanted to show you guys how you can remove jailbreak from your iPhone, remove Cydia and remove every single jailbreak component from your iPhone. So you will actually stay on the same firmware as you're on right now, so for me this is the Gaios 10.2 and this is actually pretty cool because if I'd like to, I will be able to actually re-jailbreak my iPhone in the future. So guys, I hope you will enjoy the video, of course don't forget to leave me a huge thumbs up, that would be so so much appreciated and let's not waste any more time and let's get started. And okay guys, so first of all I want you guys to go ahead and make the full iCloud backup through the iCloud because we're gonna be actually deleting every single file from our device it's gonna be erased completely so we won't have any files saved so make sure you do a iCloud backup so next you need to go ahead and go to your Cydia and add two different repos that you see right now one of them will be the coolstar repo this one the coolstar.org slash public repo this one it's gonna be also in the description and the other one will be called the jailbreak hubs repo this one so the repo.jailbreakhub.org so now once you've done this go ahead and go to the coolstar repo then click on the system and select the last package the stashing for iOS 9.2 to iOS 10.2 so this will actually be the ground for our next application and this will actually do the whole job so once you install this one click on confirm you will need to actually restart your iPhone so it just installed all of the libraries all of these necessary packages so we probably need to restart our iPhone just like I said previously and click on reboot the device up here so yeah just like this you will actually reboot your device or not so if it doesn't reboot your device just go ahead and do it like this and reboot it manually. So once you jump back into the system you will need to re-enable jailbreak once again for the last second part that will actually erase everything on our iPhone so jump back into the yellow and click on go that should re-enable your jailbreak and here's the part number two. So while jailbroken jump back into your Cydia go to sources and click on the second source that you have added this is this one the jailbreak hub repo click on this one click on the system and select the first package from here and click on install and confirm so that should do all of its job remove the Cydia and remove everything connected to a jailbreak and after that the city should actually crash now you will have extra five seconds just to you know close everything and not be removing anything from your device but as you can see I've just ignored it so it should actually remove the Cydia. So it actually took more than I thought, about 3 minutes, but now if we jump into Cydia it will actually crash, so the Cydia is no longer on our iPhone, so the last part that we need to do right now is just go into the settings, go to general and go down until we see reset, click on reset and click on erase all content in settings, so click on this one, we need to provide a password, so just provided the password, click on erase on the iPhone, and erase once again so that should actually start erasing all of the content on your iPhone so it usually takes like five to ten minutes to finish the whole process but uh, please be patient guys don't do anything just leave it there make sure you have enough battery and just sit back relax and all that stuff and we will continue the process after it will do its job and boom guys we're on the setup so let me just go ahead and do the whole setup process on my iPhone and show you guys that I still have the iOS 10.2 on my iPhone and I don't have any jailbreak so I've just finished up the whole setup process and let's go ahead and check if we still have the iOS 10.2 on deck so let's jump into settings oh that's actually lightning fast so let's go to about and let's see yeah we still have the iOS 10.2 on here and it looks like we have no jailbreak at all so we'll be able to actually re jailbreak the whole iPhone in the future but I'm not gonna do this because this iPhone is for sale as you know I've just picked up the another iPhone for myself but yeah that should be pretty much it so just like that guys I hope you really managed to go through the whole process and you have a clean new and shiny device in your hands so guys anyways if you like this video make sure to drop me a huge fatty fat like on this video it will be so so much appreciated and as always guys stay tuned for more videos and peace out